We're going to make this procedural rusted steel. If you want a copy of this node group, you can download it from my Gumroad page. I will leave a link to that in the description. In your scene, go into the shading tab, then go into the world data and add an HDRI scene so that we can see what we're doing. Boom, environment texture. Now we have lighting. Select your object, make a new material. Call it rust. Add a noise texture and a Voronoi texture. Plug the factor of the noise texture into the vector of the Voronoi. Set the scale and detail on the noise to 5.5 and the roughness to 1 and the distortion to 0 0.002. Set the Voronoi to smooth F1, set the scale to 4 and the smoothness to 0.8. Add a color ramp and use it to increase the contrast of this map. Select these and Shift D to duplicate down and we'll save these for later for our roughness and metallic. Add a mix color node and plug the result into our base color and plug the color output of our color ramp into the factor. Then choose two different colors for our rust, both a lighter and darker color. Make sure your mix node is set to mix. You should get something that looks like this. On our duplicate color ramp down here, select the noise texture and turn up the detail to something like eight. You can also turn the distortion down to zero. This group of nodes up here is our rust, but we don't want rust everywhere. So let's mix this into a normal metal color. Duplicate this mix node, duplicate our bottom color ramp and plug the color into the factor and the color of our new node into the factor. Plug the output of our rust color into B and we're gonna set a gray color for A. If you preview that node, it should look something like this and then go ahead and plug the output of this mix node into our base color. Plug the color ramp from down here into the metallic output and then add an invert node in between the color ramp and the metallic input on the principal BSDF. Then adjust the sliders on our color ramp until the rust is coming through. Now plug the output of this color ramp directly into the roughness input on the principal BSDF. You can change the amount of rust that's coming through by adjusting these handles. Add a bump node and plug the color output from this color ramp into the height and then the normal output into the normal on the principal BSDF. Set the bump strength down to something low like 0 0.02. Finally, on our lowest color ramp node here, change the black color handle to a dark gray. And there you have it, procedural rusted metal in Blender. If you like this type of content, then like this video or subscribe or leave a comment, and I will know that this is something that I should be doing more of.